Day one, today sold. We show you everything. Yeah, must take minute. Doc. Thanks for watching, guys. We take the frustration out of restoration. Take two, take four. Hey, all right, thank you, ladies. Thank you, ladies. So you say it only has surface rust? Really? MustangMedic.com. 1972 Mach 1 Mustang Restoration Project. Hey. How are you working? Um, all right, so this is a, a video on the 351 Cleveland that we gave the wheels for the, uh, the 72 uh, Mach 1, Mr. Pizza Guys. We bought the car, straight body, no rust. That's accurate. Now we're getting into the engine, which was running, but um, kind of it actually stopped running right as we uh, as we drove it first and second test drive. But what um, what's the issues with this block? It actually came out of a 72 mile point. Maxed out. It's maxed out? Can't go no bigger on the shoulder. No bigger at all. What does that mean? Does that mean the block is shot? Uh, so you can't rebuild this motor? Not again. What, what is it over? What, what, what are the cylinders over? over. It's 60 over? It's all rotated out. Yeah. 60 over right now. So take get close on these on these cylinder walls. It sounds like it sounds like a basketball player with sneakers. So that's a, that's a 70 over cylinder wall. 60. 60, sorry. This uh, this engine's been rebuilt, I guess, numerous times, right? Yeah. So the, mo the, motor, the motor's been rebuilt multiple times, and uh, which means it can't be rebuilt again. If we, put the, if we put the pistons in it where it was at, are the, are the cylinder walls well, you good? You have to buy pistons. So we could use. So we can put it back together again. We just yeah. can't. So you can't hone it. It's all done. Oh, it is honed. Yeah, oh, I thought you were telling me. I'm sitting there on video thinking we got to get a new block. We can use this block. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Well, <laughs> that's good news. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, this is bad news for Mr. Pizza. Okay. Good news is, is that it's 60 over. Yeah. The pistons are good. And we're just gonna get rings and bearings and everything. But this is the last time, Mr. Pizza Guy, she's gonna be able to rebuild. We get a hundred thousand miles out of this engine. Oh, yeah. All right. So good news. <laughs> so you're 60 over, which means you're gonna get more power because you got more um, uh, cubic, inch. cubic inches. What do you think cubic inches that cubic is with a 60 over? Any idea? idea? No idea. Okay, it's bigger than a 351. That's for damn sure. If it's 60 over. So here's your block. Here's the cylinders. They've been honed, and she's getting ready to get rebuilt. So. Hot tank first, so you want to hot tank it, and it's in wheels capable hands. That was a close call. I thought I was doing a video of like, this is bad news. We're gonna get a new engine, but it's not. It's not. It's not. It's good. 60 over with the pistons, rings. So we are uh, fortunately on budget with the engine. <laughs> good. <laughs> it's good. All right. So that that's it. Let me let me. I'm gonna do an extreme Mustang medic close up on uh, on this block. So there it is. There are the cylinder walls. And you can see there is a 60 over. You can see that there's just nowhere else to go with cutting. There's no extra, there's no extra metal on this. This is this is as big as big as they get. So there are the inside of your cylinders on your block. Uh, Mr. Pizza Guy, she's gonna get hot tank next. And I'm going to be supplying, here's a little dog hair, no big deal, it's not a scratch. And then we're going to be um, supplying. All these were plugged? All these were plugged? Yeah, water passages. So the water passages were plugged, so. Actually in the shoulder, they were all plugged. Wow. All right, so this definitely was a necessary rebuild. And these were all plugged, the water passages, for cooling the engine. She would have been running very hot yep. on you very quickly. But look at the distance between here. That's amazing. I've never seen one that's been 60 over. So is there no concern about this wheels right here? This little notch right here? That's okay. Okay. They notch it that way. Okay. All right. So there it is. There's your block. 
60 over, and she's going to live. Woo, this is a close call. This is another example, guys, of when you're buying a car, it's a Pandora's box. You're opening it up. There's no way to know that that engine was 60 over when we bought it. What we do at Mustang Medic, uh, Mr. Pizza Guy hired us to appraise her, is we go out, we look for a straight body, we try to find any hidden rust on her, and the rest is a discovery process. That's buying used cars that are 40 years old. That's what happens. So dodge the bullet on this one, 60 over, but uh, she's going to be okay. And uh, the, she's been rebuilt a number of times. This is the last time she'll be rebuilt. But Mr. Pizza Guy, with your goals, 100,000 miles, I think uh, you're good to go. So, whew, high drama. I'm sitting there thinking I'm doing a video that this block is dead. And then, and then Will's like, no, it's all right. I'm like, oh, good. All right. This has been an update on the 72 Mach 1. Always an adventure. This video series in part has been brought to you by Z Pizza. I've eaten there, guys. Original logo, original recipes, the original Z Pizza. Food's awesome. So you say it only has surface rust? Really? Mustangmedic.com. Please look for the link in the description below for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. Mustangmedic.com. We take the frustration out of restoration. <laughs>